Hi guys and welcome to our channel Only in Australia where you can find travel, adventure, food and culture that is unique to Australia's shores. Hi guys, we've just checked into our abode apartment here in Woden in the ACT. Uh, this building was built in the 1970s, but uh, abode bought it and they gutted it and turned it into a hotel. So, as you can see, there's a few similarities to abode in Gungarland. The walk in shower is good. They've got the tower rack in a much better place that's so not against the toilet, which is nice, and down under the sink. It's a hair dryer and some extra towels and things. So the bathroom uh, looks really good. It's got one of those um, things that gets rid of the condensation as well. Uh, let's have a look. So yeah, so a bit of a mirror. There's our washer dryer and some cupboards here. And we have a dishwasher, a drawer, one light gun going down the bottom and a microwave for cooking. Classic abode coffee machine and coffee and cooktop. So kitchenette is good. This room is a big square and actually this is a nicer shape than um, abode Gungal and it's bigger than abode Kingston. So it's actually like a motel room with a kitchenette in a sensible place. <laughs> so, um, yeah, sometimes the kitchenettes are right through the door and it just doesn't work so well. No balcony, but the room looks good, it looks clean, normal abode style, huge bed, thankfully. Uh, alarm clock, and we're going to look forward to staying here. Going to get the family in and settled in for the night. And yeah, and we're going to uh, review the hotel properly in the morning. So we'll talk to you then. Hi guys, we're here in Woden in the ACT and we're just closing off our review of Abode Woden. Um, what can I say? We've been really happy with this hotel. Uh, it's an ex-government building from the 1970s. It's been gutted and uh, turned into a hotel. We stayed in, a, in an executive suite. Uh, it was 37 metres, but the shape of the room just really worked. So it was big square, a huge bed, comfortable bed, um, and there's a kitchenette and a washing machine, a comfortable seating area. Out of all the abodes, we found this one to be the most comfortable. Um, and it just works as a hotel. There's a breakfast uh, restaurant downstairs, and uh, there's a good pantry where you can order food up to your room. Um, and reception is uh, long hours. It's a good hotel. The area isn't good, it's in a rundown place. Um, the infrastructure is old. Uh, the shopping malls over here, which is good, but everything except for the grocery chains closes very early. So, what can I say? If you want to come and sit in a hotel, or you've got a car and you want to drive anywhere, this is the right hotel at the right price. It's comfortable, self-contained. It is very clean. We found this to be the cleanest of them all. Um, we wipe the floor from the door to the bathroom every time we go there without wearing shoes and this one there was no dirt whatsoever. Uh, the other abodes they're clean-ish but they don't come back well on that. 
So they're using clean water to mop your floor. Um, it's in good condition. We really quite liked it. Um, would we stay here again? Definitely, yes. Um, is the area safe at night? That's debatable. There are, um, yeah, it's, I probably wouldn't walk around here if I was a woman by myself at night. It just doesn't have a safe feel. But the area, they've demolished a lot of uh, housing blocks. They're putting up new towers. Um, in five years, this is going to be totally different. But the hotel itself is really good. And uh, we're quite, um, yeah, quite amazed uh, that it came up so well for the price. And yeah, we recommend it. Out of 10, we give this one a score of 9.5. So for a hotel that only cost $126 for a large room in a night, for a night, that's an amazingly high score. So well done, a very good one. Thank you guys for watching our video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and share to keep us making more videos. Thank you.